And now is the f we'll, we'll see what they have to say about Messi and Ronaldo because if you're asking me the comparison between Messi, Ronaldo and Pele is not even close. But let's just watch. It's not close. It's not close. I'm sorry. Compare Pele to Messi and Ronaldo and it's not close, please. By that, we have two men in mind. It's not close. Maradona is way better than Pele. Way better. Okay, Mr. Pele. How good was Pele? And is he really one of the best players of all time? Without wasting any more time, guys, let's get straight into it. If you're a football fan of any age, hmm. you've probably heard of Edson Aranz Donacimento, although you might not know it. That's because Mr. Donacimento is better known as Pele. And Pe Pele. What an icon. Pele is among the greatest footballers of all time. Don't take our word for it. Bobby Moore, Franz Beckenbauer and Eusebio called him the most complete footballer they've ever seen. Hmm. Argentinian coach Cesar Luis Menotti described him as a mixture of of Alfredo Di Stefano, Diego Maradona, Johan Cruyff. I don't know if I've give Pele the comparison of Messi and Maradona, but we won't, we won't get into it just yet. And Leo Messi. Mm. Michel Platini, the great French midfielder, put it best. To play like Pele is to play like God. So, more than 40 years on from his retirement, we ask, how good was Pele actually? Pele burst onto the scene as a 17-year-old. He hmm. suffered a knee injury before the 1958 World Cup, but his Brazil teammates begged the coaching staff to include him in the squad. They played against him in training and knew how good he was. Pele scored the winner against Wales in the quarter-final. He then hit a hat-trick in the semi-final against France. And in the final against host Sweden, he scored twice as Brazil won 5-2. At 17 years of age, Pele was the youngest ever world champion and a bona fide global superstar. Pele also won the World Cup in Although he missed most of that tournament through injury, eight years later, in 1970, he won the competition for a third time. No other player has ever equaled that achievement. At Santos... Okay, <clears throat> just look, <clears throat> this video is not a video for us to go in on Pele and criticize Pele. But they are set, it's actually the opposite. We want to celebrate Pele. We want Pele to give his flower. We, we want to give Pele his flowers because, as I always say, in terms of the greatest, in terms... In terms of comparing errors to errors, Pele is definitely, without a shadow of doubt, one of the greatest to ever do it. As it was shown in the beginning of the video, just look at the way his peers spoke about him. But there is a problem when you begin to compare players in these manners by using team accomplishments to compare players. The first player to ever win three World Cups. One of those World Cups, the second one, he barely even played, so that doesn't count. So that achievement doesn't really count. He does have the, a medal for it because he was, quote-unquote, technically part of the club. But did he really play a part in Brazil winning it? Pele was very talented, but that Brazilian team, in comparison to the rest of the world, was also extremely talented. So I'm not taking away from Pele by saying this. All I'm saying is, when you are going to compare players, please don't use team accomplishments. Compare players by their individual individual performances to individual performances team accomplishments are not the way to compare players individually if you want to talk about that brazilian team being great that's fine by me but if you want to talk about pelling winning three world cups when in one of them he barely even played now i have a problem with that but anyways let's carry on he won 10 Sao Paulo state championships and two Copas Libertadores, the South American equivalent of the Champions League. He also won two Intercontinental Cups, and the best individual performance of his career came against Benfica in the 1962 edition. Yeah. The tie was billed as a battle between Eusebio and Pele for the title of world's best player. Pele yeah. scored five goals across two matches as Santos won 8-4 on aggregate. I arrived hoping to stop a great man, Benfica's goalkeeper said afterwards. But I went away convinced I'd been undone by someone who was not born on the same planet as the rest of us. Pele was the goalkeeper, Xavier. Anyways. 
so popular that Santos quit the Copa Libertadores and embarked on a world tour, playing lucrative friendlies across the globe. Mm. They were football's equivalent of the Harlem Globetrotters. Mm. Everyone was desperate to see Pele in the flesh, even if it wasn't always easy. In 1967, both sides in the Nigerian Civil War agreed a 48-hour ceasefire so that rival troops could watch him play. <laughs> Pelé was an all-round genius. He was a natural athlete who was strong, speedy, and superb in the air. Now, his fitness levels, his physical ability was definitely impressive, even for the time. Even if you're going to put Pelé now, his physical ability was still very impressive. He was a terrific driller and passer, and could finish with both feet. By the time... That's physical and technical ability, different things, but anyways... He retired, Pele had scored 1,281 goals, an all-time record. 77 of those came for Brazil. More than Ronaldo, Neymar, Romario, Zico, and all the other greats who've pulled on the famous yellow shirt. Pele could do everything. He could play as an... Wait. Number 10. A wide forward or a striker. According to many, he was the best in the world in all three positions. Brazil boss Jao Saldana went further. Ask me who's the best right back in Brazil and I'll say Pele, he once remarked. Ask me about the best left back. That's crazy glazing. That's crazy glazing, bro. Anyways. Or the best midfield man. Or the best centre forward. Always, I must say Pele. If he wants crazy to be the crazy. best goalkeeper, he will be. Crazy there is only one Pele. Back the Ballon d'Or was only open to players based in Europe. Raymond mm -hmm. Copa, Eusebio, Bobby Charlton, George Best and Gert Muller were among the winners between 1958 and 1970. But everyone, including his rivals, knew that Pele was the real number one. I sometimes feel as though football was invented for this magical player, Bobby Charlton once <laughs> said. But and now is the... F we'll, we'll see what they have to say about Messi and Ronaldo, because if you're asking me, the comparison between Messi, Ronaldo, and Pele is not even close. But let's just what watch. What if we compare Pele to the legends of today? It's not close. It's not close. I'm sorry. Compare Pele to Messi and Ronaldo, and it's not close. Please. By that, we have two men in mind. No, not Nicholas Bentner and Shkodran Mustafi, but Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. It's not close. All three are considered greatest of all time candidates. And Pele. Maradona is way better than Pele. Way better shared certain similarities with the modern duo. Like Ronaldo, he was a big... No. 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 Let's not do this. Let's not do this. Just because they scored acrobatic goals, they're not the same. Ronaldo's fitness level... Sorry, Ronaldo's physical ability is not, is not on par with Pele. Ronaldo's technical ability is not on par with Pele. Ronaldo can score any, every and any type of goal consistently 60 or something goes every single year at the peak of football this is the peak of football he's playing in arguably the he was playing at least in la liga and the premier league the two best leagues in the world he was playing at, at the time where Puch, sorry football has he is peak Pele was yes you can talk about how brazil were the best team but the biggest competitions were in europe even at the time so let's not get into it Scoring acrobatic goals does not mean they are similar. Please. Beast in the air. Pele was just five foot eight, but he regularly outjumped. That's that's another thing. Ronaldo is also taller. Now, it's not his fault, but Ronaldo's physical ability alone, from a physical standpoint alone, even Ronaldo just outperforms him there. So let's not do this, please. All the defenders. He was also a brilliant athlete, just like the Portuguese superstar. He was akin to Messi. He was a good two compared to his ever. He was a great athlete, but don't compare him to Ronaldo. In other ways, Pele loved to drop deep and carry the ball forward. He was skilled at both creating and converting chances. Football was a very different game in Pele's era. The pitches were again very good dribbler, creative, but not on par with Messi at all. At all. At all. Were often poor. <laughs> Defenders could assault opposition forwards without even being shown a yellow card. Some will argue that Pele is the greatest of all time because he overcame those obstacles. Again, relative to error, relative to error, you can make that argument. Relative to his error. But all time, all time, no, you can't. I'm sorry. 
samples. He also has three world cups. Uh, rubber half on nine in that conversation. Rubber half on in that conversation. Rubber half Maradona, Zidane, Iniesta, Xavi, Suarez even. Let's not get nasty, please. Name. Compared to Messi and Ronaldo's, zero. But the Champions League, not the World Cup, is the pinnacle of the game today. And Messi and Ronaldo... argue that Pele is the greatest of all time because he overcame those obstacles. He also has three World Cups. As we said, he does not have three World Cups. He was very, very instrumental in the first World Cup. He was still part of the team on that third World Cup. In that second World Cup, he was injured. ...to his name. Compared to Messi and Ronaldo's, <coughs> zero. But the Champions League, not the World Cup, is the pinnacle of the game today. And Messi and Ronaldo have won nine between them. There's also the fact that more than 500 of Pele's goals came in unofficial friendlies and tour games. <laughs> he even counted goals he scored in games for the sixth Coast Guard in a military competition. <laughs> that shouldn't diminish his genius, though. Pele was undoubtedly one of the greatest footballers to have walked the earth. Some insist he's still number one, while others believe Messi and Ronaldo have now overtaken him. Everyone has their... Yes, light years apart favorites which are often influenced by age nationality club allegiance and more than anything else personal taste so for all the debates it's impossible to definitively prove that a player from one era was better than a player from another which on balance there is just look at the way they play the game there is there is you can is probably a good thing it's much more fun this way right again w video from non-stop football I will leave their link in the description. It's just a few things that they said about Pele and to be fair for them, the masses also says these things. I'm just someone who... I have over 500 videos on this channel. I have over 600 videos. Oh, sorry, almost 600 videos. I've been on PC40 with the boys so many for so many weeks, so many episodes. And this is not to toot my own horn. I'm still a very small creator. This is to say that I breathe and live football. I've done over 50 live streams or close to 50 live streams. I actively watch football and you guys know that. So when I'm saying these things about Pele, it's not from a place of hate. It's from a place of someone who really loves and understands this game. Pele is a great player. Relative to error, he is one of the best of all time. But let's not do this thing of comparing him to Ronaldo and Messi because it's not close. But anyways guys, thank you very much for watching the video until the end. You're much appreciated. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe and share. And I'll see you guys soon.